another beautiful day actually it rained a little bit or sprinkled today we are dealing with this gutter that is not flowing and that is because it's sitting on these rafter tails so if you look on that side where the downspout is you can see it's really high so what we need to do is notch these a little bit over on that downspout side to make the water flow so i'm gonna take this piece by piece because we're trying to be really careful with all the flowers and brush below so one nail at a time all right kind of pop the gutter out so you can see what we're dealing with is the rafter tails and look what i found the gutter right here was notched to fit inside here technically this is supposed to be three and a half inches so they cut down half an inch to make it fit on this side well that made the water stand inside the gutter you can still see it's dripping so we're gonna notch these rafter tails and slope the gutter that way without cutting the gutter all right we are replacing all the downspouts this one on the right side of the house they have a pipe here it doesn't have a cap from the city or anything but this one is clogged this one is an aftermath or something so i'm not sure maybe we can put it back in here all right check this out we got a laser here so we can know exactly how much rafters to cut so you can see right there we need to cut that so the next line would be visible all right we're gonna paint these rafter tails but check this out you see that laser that's how much we need to cut a little bit more to slope it so i cut each one that means we'll cut the next one i mean you can do this with a rope too but this works for me we're gonna keep going notch them out right, notch the laser you see right there made the rafters a little bit lower to slope the gutters so there's my laser set up over there and it's working really fantastic right, paint customer provided we're gonna get those rafter tails painted so they're nice and protected and weatherized all right so we're running out some new gutter oh man they got jammed <laughs> right there dark uh light bronze light bronze here we go beautiful anyway check out this old gutter so if you measure right there we had about two inches of water sitting in the gutter previously we measured that gutter three inches so this is the the correct measurement it's three and a half so this gutter was definitely notched right there it was actually notched more towards this end check this out so i'm missing half an inch so instead of doing that we actually went ahead and cut the rafter tails instead so we have these special ladders that get the ladders away from the house and all the bushes are safe so it's nice and clean okay so i pulled some of the debris out from this drain pipe this one does work I'm not sure but this one we're putting water here and if we turn it off the water does disappear so it is going down you see that so i'm guessing it goes out into the yard some sort of french drain it's probably okay but in a heavy heavy rain it might overflow but that's how it works right there it's not too bad so i think we can use that it was clogged towards the top so right getting this gutter installed on the side of the house it turns turned out really nice we're gonna water test it max flow out on the end brackets every two feet internal with extra long screw all right adding water now we're gonna see where this water ends up 
it should come out right from here on the right side there goes the water and it's gonna drop out there we go water test successful running really good shouldn't have any clogs that outlet is massive check it out big outlet all right there's the gutter one long piece super size outlet no more clogs and these are really long screws right here putting them every rafter tail all right water test is successful water is gone out of the gutter you can see right there all the water drained out all right check this out all the water is gone water test is good you can see the laser worked fantastic we repainted everything so nice and straight with a little bit of slope so before it used to be two inches of water right here so we added some screws right there on the inside kind of doubled up i don't know if you can see to make it really strong because this gutter came out really easy all right got the downspout installed with a max flow outlet right there leaf trap nice and neat so no more clogs there's the gutter we installed over there looking sharp beautiful got this downspout installed over here drain all that water 10 feet away from the house the final product everything's hidden hangers there's the max flow outlet everything is clean no broken bushes we're gonna clear this out beautiful all right got the front downspouts done both of those this house is complete thank you for watching we'll see you next time